All right. What's up? Let's get it. A little different environment today. Uh, baby's sleeping. I'm downstairs. Looks like she's got this blanket like over her face or something. She's chilling. She's out. Hopefully she's going to give me enough time to record this lesson. Maybe even one more. But um, it's week two of learning. Um, today's lesson is going to be pretty straightforward, pretty simple. I mean, to be honest, easy money. Okay, um, first semester, we did something uh, with segments, but this semester, we're going to start to get involved in a little more geometry. Okay, so that has to do with like triangles and angles and, and different stuff like that. So let me scoot my laptop over because this guy's kind of at a weird angle. And um, yeah, so what we're looking at today, it's uh, we're dealing with something called the angle addition postulate. And what that means is like, it doesn't mean anything to you. But if you add two angles together, you get a bigger angle. That's what it kind of talks about. So let me show you, uh, basically, and try and make this as easy as possible for you to understand. Okay, so let's say right here that we have an angle. Okay, and I'm going to name this angle, why not? M a n it's angle man right okay and let me just say that angle man is 80 degrees okay it's an 80 degree angle that's pretty easy to see i just named it 80 just it could have been 70 i don't even know what it is but i just named it 80. now watch what happens if we take that same angle angle m a n right? And I cut it. I, I'm going to cut it into two angles, right? I'm going to cut this guy now. Look, can you see how we have angle man, but I cut it and now we have an angle up top. Let's just call this, we'll call this T. So we actually have angle M A T and we have angle T A N, right? We have two angles now. I mean, technically we have three, we've got this big one, but I cut it into two pieces, right? We have two pieces. Now, check this out. If I told you the angle man was 80 degrees, okay, and then I cut it into two pieces, we have Matt, this guy right here, M-A-T, and then we have angle T-A-N down here at the bottom. Well, if I told you this guy at the top was 30 degrees now, and I ask you to tell me what the angle at the bottom is, okay, the angle at the top plus the angle at the bottom has to equal this entire thing, right? 80. So you would just say, okay, well, 80 minus 30 is 50, which means this guy down here has to be 50 degrees. And all that is, is it's just saying, hey, the top angle, right? The top angle plus the bottom angle right, equals the big angle. It equals the whole thing, right? The angle plus the angle equals the bigger one. This piece plus this piece equals the whole thing. Okay, so that was just a little intro into what we're doing today. Now, let me make it a little bigger so you can see. And what we want to do, and hopefully you have your notes here. If you printed out your notes, it's going to make your life a lot easier. Okay, now, angle, measure of angle TUZ. So we go from T to U, to Z. Do you see how it says T-U-Z here? That's 24, 24 degrees. Then it says measure of angle Z-U-V. Well, where's Z-U-V? Z, that's here, U-V. Oh, that's this guy right here. That's the top guy is 95, 95. Okay, what are they asking? Find the measure of angle T-U-V. Well, T-U-V, that's the big guy. So remember, little plus little equals big. Okay, so our little guy, that's 24, that's a smaller angle, plus another smaller angle, which is 95, equals our big angle, the entire thing, right? This guy plus this guy equals the whole thing. 
So you just add them here, and I think we'd get 119 maybe. Okay, so that's easy. This concept of little plus little equals big, right? The small angle plus the small angle equals the big angle. Now, what happens is if they, let's see if they give us the big angle, right? They gave us the little, and they gave us the little, and they wanted us to find the big. Okay, so that's easy. Little plus little equals big. Let's see what happens over here. Okay, TCD is 36. TCD is 36 degrees. Okay, BCD, well, where's BCD? BCD, ooh, that's this big guy right here, right? Is 176. So look what they gave us here. They want us to find BCT. Find BCT. Well, BCT is this other little guy, right? Little, little. And this guy's the big guy, right? It's a big, big number. So if they give you a big, like you could say, hey, big angle minus the little angle equals the other little angle, right? So these are really what you're going to see here. You're either going to, if they give you both little angles, right? If they give you both, you just add them, little plus little equals big, okay? If they give you a big angle like that, and they give you another little angle, then you gotta subtract. Big minus little equals little, okay? We gotta find this other guy. So we'll say, hey, 176 minus 36, it looks like 140. That's it. I mean, this is really the meat of the lesson, right? A little angle plus a little angle equals the bigger angle. And they're like, hey, if we give you the big one and we give you a little one, then subtract them to find the other little angle. Okay, so let's come down here and see what we've got. Remember, this guy right here is a small angle. He's a little guy. Okay, this guy over here, even though he looks big, he's another piece, right? He's another small piece. And the big one is this guy here, from here to here to here. And how do we know he's big? Because he contains both small angles, right? Piece and piece, if you put the two pieces together, you get a big piece. And that's what I mean by big. Okay, you've got the pieces, you put the pieces together, you get the big piece. Okay, so let's look. NMJ. From M, N, wait, NMJ. NMJ, oh, that's this guy right here, is 32. Small piece. Okay, JML. J. M, L, oh, that's this guy over here that we highlighted, right? That's another small piece, is 145. Well, if they give us the two small pieces, then we're going to add them together to find the big piece, right? 145 plus 132 is 177, it looks like. Okay? Why don't you, well, I'll do number four together, and then I'm going to have you do five and six on your own. Okay, let's look at four. I, V, U, that's from I, to V to U, that's just a piece, right? This is a piece. So we got 105, that's a small piece. What else did they give us? W, V, I. W to V to I, this is another piece. 55, this is a small piece. So piece and piece, what do we do with the pieces? We add the pieces together to find the big one. W, V, U, W, V, U, yep, that's the whole thing. You see, W to V to U, that's both pieces together. So we add 55 and 105, and we get 160 degrees. Boom. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do now, because hopefully you had the notes printed out. If you didn't, you're going to have to press pause a lot and copy stuff down. All right. So what we're going to have you do now is I want you to try five and six on your own. So here's five. Here's six. Go ahead and press pause. Attack five and six on your own. When you're done with five and six, press play, and we'll go over them, okay? All right, let's get it. Okay, KLH. Find KLH. Okay, so they want you to find, find measure of angle KLH. Okay, 
L H is right here. You can tell that that's a small piece, and they want you to find the small piece. Well, if they want you to find the small piece, remember, don't we just do big minus small to find the other small piece? Okay, well, what's our big one? Okay, HLM is 150, HLM is 150. Our other one's 176, 176 for the entire thing, so let's subtract them. 176 minus 150, it looks like 26 degrees. Okay, number six, find, no, what do they want us to find? Let's look at that first. Find NFG. N F G. That's a small piece, right? If they want us to find the small piece, we're going to take the big minus the small. All right, our big is 89. Our other small is 69. And 89 minus 69 is 20 degrees. Okay? Our last two problems of the lesson are, let's look down here, number seven and number eight. Okay, go ahead and check. Do seven and eight on your own. Press pause, complete them, and when you're done, press play. We'll come back and go over them. All right. What do they want us to find here? Measure of angle FGP. Well, F to G to P is just a piece, right? It's a small piece. If they want us to find the small piece, well, that makes it easy for us because it's big minus small. So let's take our big number, which is 142, subtract the other small piece, which is 50, and it looks like we probably get 92 degrees. All right, number eight, they want us to well, find, look what it says here, find FVW, FVW. That's also a small piece. So in order to find a small piece, we need to go big minus small. Our big is 143. Our other small is 48. And I think we get 95 degrees when we subtract them. All right, so that is a lesson in a nutshell. Um, our next lesson is going to be trickier because we're going to have variables. We're going to have X's and stuff like that. So you're going to see variables. And uh, But before you do that, you got a quick homework assignment. I think it's 10 problems. And then you can jump on to lesson number two.